Hello, hi and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be talking about the processes for 2024 for the CEO. Now, I think it's really important to look at what your processes are for 2024 and to look at whether these things are going to be implemented straight away or whether you're going to create a list of how you're going to do this over the space of 12 months, for example, 11 months now, because we're right in halfway the January 2024. So let's delve in more. So I'm just going to talk to you about a few tips. So what I tend to do and what I also ask my clients to do is to focus on the future, not the past. Focus on your goal. Focus on your mission and vision and looking at the steps that you need to do in order to get to that end goal. Yes, the end goal is important, but if you obsess about the end goal, then it's not going to bring you forward. So you need to look at what the steps are that you need to do, as I've said in my previous video. And it's really important that we do that so that we've got a focus point so that we look at enjoying the day that we are living and not just on the end results. It's the steps, like when you're climbing a mountain, yeah, you see a mountain and you think, wow, I wanna be at the top of that mountain, but you've got to take steps in order to get there. And Martin Luther King has said something so amazing regarding this as well, and that is another video to come. So. Focus on being disciplined. Taking actions is very important. And yes, you don't have to be 100% in this, doing this goal every single minute of the day, but have that as your vision of where you are right now, being present, and how you're going to achieve those goals. So in this video, I will talk more about this. So do you limit yourself? Now, getting to a multiple seven-figure business is not easy, and I'm not saying it is, because bear, you know, bear in mind, I have been there, so I know your struggles, I know it's not easy. And whatever stage you're at in your business, then there's always gonna be a struggle, a challenge that you're gonna have to overcome. But each time you overcome each hurdle, you get stronger and stronger so that you're able to deal with the next battle that you are faced to overcome. So you need to be focused, you need to stay focused and look at what that challenge is that you've got for the day of what you need to achieve in the action steps that you're taking. You don't wanna be stopping and starting because you'll end up going round in circles. I've seen it so many times with um, individuals where they are just running around in a circle like a hamster, for example, looking at what everyone else is doing and then thinking, why is mine not happening? I must be doing something wrong. And then you stop because you're feeling as if you can't do this but it's okay to rest and stop but really you need to get back into it again if you want to achieve your goals for 2024 another thing which is really close to my heart when i started my healthcare businesses i did it from love and passion i didn't even think about the money and yes money we need to pay bills with i understand that but the money did not come into place with me. It was the passion, loving to serve. I actually went out and did care for free because I loved it. I wanted to practice getting started. So this is possibly something you could offer as a care provider to care homes, for example. Go to agencies for example and offer your services for free i know it sounds strange but if you have got passion and love in your heart you will do things that is not going to cause any detriment to you of course but at the same time 
because you are passionate, then this is the correct occupation or career path that you should take. So for me, for example, I went out in my care agency, I went out and I delivered food during Christmas time to those vulnerable people in the community. And they appreciated that. That was out of my free time. I wasn't being paid for it. So don't look at this as a monetary thing. That's got, got to be at the back of your head. I know it seems strange I'm saying this, but your passion is, is it something that you would do for free? Like you bring your family up for free, not for reward. They don't pay you. So would you do your care business for free? Think about it. Because when you serve, the money will follow. Take it from me. When you serve, the money will follow. The outcome will be better for you. Because if you're going into this business because you've seen people make multiple seven figures, for example, and your passion isn't there, then it's not going to come to you. It's not going to, you're not going to attract that to you. It's going to push away from you and then you're going to have difficulty. So if you're going into this business, then you need to look at the reasons why you are going into this business. Is it the love and the passion and that you would do this for free if you had the opportunity? So what is the end goal for you? I'll give you an example. I did research into my family history and my great, great, great grandmother, Sarah, was a carer. So I actually went back 159 years, for example. So is this in your DNA? Doesn't necessarily have to be in your DNA because being a good business owner in the care field doesn't mean to say you have to come from a care background, but I'm just giving you an example of my passion that I had and I feel truly strong about this. So is this your passion? Another example is my father, Marcus, Marcus Owen. He was a phenomenal man, a massive role model to me and my family and anybody that knew him. In New York, in Bronx, New York, he set up the food pantry, which is to help feed people and families that are in difficulty and facing um, starvation, for example. He set this up because of the love and the passion. He ended up serving thousands of people and his legacy still goes on today. It is now in the schools where the children are able to have extra activities that they wouldn't usually get in the school. And it is down to my father leaving his legacy that is still continuing today. And he did this for free. That's my point here, is, is it your true passion? Would you do this for free? Another tip is that you should not be working from fear or lack in this business because it will hold you back and the fear will just keep overriding your thought processes on a daily basis and you won't be able to move forward. So what happens when you're facing res resistance in your life? You move forward, you push through it, you will overcome it. And I know it sounds easy for me to say, but I have been there, I've pushed through it. And I encourage you to do the same because you will face challenges, you will face resistance, you will face things that you are not comfortable with. You have to get used to being uncomfortable. 
but it's important to have these routines daily. And I'm going to go through this in this video of coping mechanisms that can help you achieve your daily goals. So do you have a clear plan? Do you know the type of business owner or person that you want to become? Because you need to do this now. That person is in you already. You just got to acknowledge and find that person within you. So take on that identity in order for to push through those goals, push through those difficult times to get you to action. You've got to take on that identity of that person, the future you that's within you in order to make those goals happen. So within every person, we have the poor person, we have the middle class person, and we have the wealthy person. You have to decide which person you're going to draw out, which should be the wealthy person that is going to help you to build your business to a multiple seven figure business. If that's what you choose to do, you may just want a six figure business. It's entirely up to you. But whatever that is, you need to pull out the wealthy person in you. What do they look like? What would they say? How would they react? How would they deal with fear? Bring that person out in order to help you in your business. Another tip is sleep. If you don't get sleep, it will cause so much damage inside your body and your mental health and your well-being. Don't just think that getting three, four hours sleep a night is gonna help you to achieve your goals and action for 2024 to have your business at the level of where you want it to be. It will decline your mental well-being if you don't get enough sleep. You need to try and look at at least a minimum of between six to eight hours sleep because that's how the body rejuvenates itself and it helps your mind to be strong in the morning to face the challenges throughout the day. So create a sanctuary in your bedroom so that you're able to sleep, declutter. Always make your bed when you get up in the morning. Always, without fail. It should be a habit that you're doing because a tidy mind helps you to be strong and to build a successful business and look at the things around you that you can do in the morning when you get up. Drink a glass of water, pray, meditate, go for walks. I do this on a daily basis. And if you do this, it's gonna help you to really strengthen your mind. You're building your CEO muscles so that you can run a successful business and lead a team effectively. If you're the type of boss that screams and shouts at your staff members, gets angry with them, then you need to practice some meditation. Go for long walks. See the beauty, the nature. Sometimes looking around us but what God's created is a good sense of belonging and strengthening and grounding you to push forward within your business. So schedule time to have positive relationships with your loved ones, your friends, your colleagues. Really try and focus on having positive relationships with people. What is the good that you see in them and encourage that. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to create a paragraph of your vision and your mission. 
This will help you keep focused and look at this every day. It will help you keep focused on why you are doing this. What is the vision? What are the steps that you're going to take to keep your vision alive? What actions do you need to do in order to achieve the end goal? Practice gratitude. Be grateful for wherever you are today. Be grateful that you are alive. Be grateful that you can see. Be grateful that you have family and friends, whatever it is, your pets, whatever it is you want to be grateful for. But practice gratitude so you don't become complacent and always looking for what someone can give you. Look at the things that you are grateful for right now. Nelson Mandela, even when he was in prison, he practiced gratitude every day. You know, don't, don't um, focus on the lack. Don't focus on the fear. Focus on the positivity that you have right now and the action steps that you need to do to get to that person that you are looking to become. If you practice that, then you will become the person that you truly are currently wanting to be. You see, the moment that you say that I deserve more and you accept that you are not going to get any, that you do not want anything less than that, that is your starting point. So please write a list of your actions. Do the paragraph of your mission and your vision so that you can work towards your future self and your goals that you want to achieve in 2024. So get used to being uncomfortable. Get used to it. When you're running a multiple seven figure business, you have to get used to being uncomfortable and embrace that and let that drive you to the point where you are comfortable running a multiple seven figure business because there will always be a hurdle that you have to face. So, for example, I get up at 5 a.m. I also focus on my routine, my daily routine, and I know what the end goal is. I know the why of why I'm doing what I do. And it makes me feel good because I know what the end result is. I have my vision beyond my vision. And that is to really help business owners and care providers that are willing to do the work for themselves. Sorry, I'll say that again. That are willing to do the work for themselves and to, for us to all rise together to help one another. Because running a multiple seven figure business, whether you are a care provider, it is not easy. Whether you are a business owner, running a different type of business, it is not e easy. You have to ensure that you do self care, self love, so that it helps you to go through the challenges that you face sometimes in your business that is uncomfortable. But it is there to make you stronger. That's how I see it. You've heard the saying, what don't kills you makes you stronger. I always take that on board. I have to think of how to overcome that situation. Because wherever we are in life, there will be difficult situations that we are all faced with. And it's how you overcome them with your mindset, building your CEO muscles, for example. 
So like I said, pray, go for walks, whether it's 30 minutes a day, I do two hours, for example, a day. And some days when the weather's bad, I can't go out. I take that on board, but I try and get out whenever I can. It's okay to miss one or two days in the week if you can't get out, but you know, get back out there and go for your walks. Whether you start off doing, you know, 30 minutes a day, it's entirely up to you. But this encourages you to open your mind and look at things in a fresh light. To be able to get ideas that you can implement in your business and to be energized. And to appreciate nature this beautiful world that God has given us as well. And to be grateful for being alive, to be able to appreciate this that is around us. Another way is by building an SOP, which is about building, um, they're like job descriptions for staff members that you're going to be leading within your organization. This will help alleviate and this is all part of your CEO process to being a multiple seven figure business owner. You can also use the balance scorecard for your business as well. And there's four elements to this and this is in the description here. I will uh, paste it here in the description for you to really see it. And I will be doing a video on this because I think it's so important that we look at the four operational things within our business because as leaders in our healthcare business we need to be aware of these operations and we cover this as well in our contracts bootcamp as well so if you want further details on our contracts bootcamp then when you do book a free 15 minute consultation with our team we can go through that with you so i hope that you'll be able to book a free 15 minute consultation with us it'll either be a telephone call or via zoom so that we can talk to you and talk to you further about the business scorecard processes for ceos because it is an important factor as a leader so the first one is the financial prospectus but sorry the first one is the financial perspective, which is to do with the scorecard. Then we have the second section, for example, which is customer relationship perspective. Then there's also the financial perspective as well. There's also the internal business processes and there's also the growth and development processes within your business that you need to be aware of as a business leader, which I'll be doing a video on this to go deep into this a bit further so you've got a better understanding of this. But you'll be able to see here in the video, in the description about the information to do with the business scorecard processes which seven-figure business owners are using currently as well. And as well as organizations, government organizations, large organizations are using this as well. So clarify your objectives, clarify your strategy, clarify your actions that you need to, stay, to take in order to achieve your goals for 2024. But you know what truly matters here is that you are aligned with this. That this is something that really resonates with you. That you want to do this for you. That it feels right for you. And this is the only thing that is going to also drive you forward as the CEO by having processes in place for 2024, that's going to drive your business to where you want to be, for the growth of your business. 
but also it comes from love. So if you've liked this video, please, sorry, subscribe, like this video. I want to hear your comments. I want you to book a free 15 minute consultation with me or the team. And we have our contracts bootcamp, which is in February. We have them every month. We've got new programs coming up this year, which I'm really excited about to talk to you further about. But most of all, I want you to learn from what the trainings are in this video. So please do like and subscribe. Join our Facebook group. We have a community of like-minded care providers and we want you to be a part of it. You'll also get further updates by liking and subscribing to the YouTube video here and you will get notifications of when a video is coming up. And I hope that you found today really helpful. I want to wish you all the best and have a wonderful blessed day. Thank you. Goodbye.